Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a lead generation page. So to get started, go to lead generation pages. And you'll see here, this will list all of the lead generation pages that you have. Uh, you can edit them and view them uh, and delete them. But what I'll do is I'll create a new one. So click create. And then the different options, there's not many. I'll show you. It's pretty simple to make. So first step is to choose one of the templates. So they look very similar to this. Um, I will stick with this one for now, and then I'll show you what the other ones look like. And I'll go, I'll review some of these options. So the first option here is show header menu. And what this is, is it shows you your profile page um, top menu where your name is, and there are some links. Um, I'll keep it there, and then I'll show you what it looks like without it. Make your sign-up form a pop-up. And what this does is, instead of the person signing up right on the website or right on that page, they click a button that then pops up. So I will click that option as well for now. All right, you give it a title. We'll just put title here. You can see where that is. You give the button a name. So I'll put button text. The font color. Uh, so I'll just say I'll pick something light for now. Background color. I'll choose something dark so that the text looks good. And then here you select a list. And so what this is, is as soon as somebody signs up, you're telling it what list do you want this subscriber to go into. So uh, you can have multiple lists in it and have multiple lead generation pages that then go to those different lists depending on what it is you're trying to do. Background image. So for this one, I'll go back up here. The background of this will be an image. So let's say, I'll go find the image real quick. I'll use this one. It's there. Featured image, which is probably like a book. And I'll use this one. Then you've got a short description, which in these ones, that's the short description, short description, short description there and there and then in a few of these you have a longer description and that option will show up I'll show you if you were to select this one one description shows up and if it's not then it's not there so what I'll do is just put a short description here and then here's an optional uh, part which is the Facebook bot code so if you're using a Facebook bot and you want to give the reader the option of signing up by email or through your Facebook messenger bot you can put the code here. I won't do that here. And then if you hit save changes. And then real quickly, go back, title here, you can see I'll put in a new tab. And here's what it looks like. So yours would obviously have longer description and fill up a little more, but here's how the button works then. You click the button and the person can sign up right there. And this is the top menu I was talking about as well. Now, if you were to, let's say, edit, and we'll take both those options off. I'll save the changes. Here's how that changes. So now you've got the sign-up form here, and your top menu has gone away. All right, and we'll open that one up again. And I'll change that back real quick. And let's just change it to this one. Hit save changes. And you can see how that then updates. So go back real quick. And because this is one that only has the background image, it didn't show this background image there. And this is where you can then change your background color. Let's just say we want that. And we'll even change that one. And then you can see how that one looks like. Alright, and then I'll show you a couple of the other ones real quick. Here's where the long description goes. 
Changes. You can see how that how that changes. And then the last one. Change to that one. Save changes. Refresh. And there's that one. And again, pop up. Alright, that's it.